a hydrogen powered ram truck well that's already in place for stellantis cummins the company that ram stellantis uses for their heavy duty pickup trucks have developed a hydrogen powered internal combustion engine that could be easily placed right into a diesel powered Stellantis product. And so this is interesting, you know, with all of the requirements and all of the shift happening in the EV market with uh, people going over to make electric, fully electric pickup trucks. Could this be a possible opportunity uh, for some clean environment engines right some some that don't produce carbon and is still clean and good for the environment um yeah is a possibility for sure now ram already does have uh or what should i say stellantis already has a uh power train that uses hydrogen but uses it uses the fuel cells as the power instead of a ice engine internal combustion engine and so um and so there's a difference obviously because instead of using hydrogen in like a regular engine that you know we you, you we we all know um stellantis uses uh fuel cells uh for their mid-size van and so they've been uh, pushing out about a thousand units per year. And then they're going to produce it more for large and mid-sized van. And then they're looking to do that for an, a, a heavy duty truck. And it may be a hydrogen engine that uses fuel cell or a hydrogen engine that uses a uh, eternal combustion engine, which will probably most likely be with a heavy duty pickup truck. But the thing that people like this over just regular electric vehicles is that number one it helps the range and the time for charge um, issue in the electric market because yes you can get an electric pickup truck great torque great horsepower great towing capabilities but that's cut in half because of the battery range right but with fuel cells and when using specifically an internal combustion engine powered by hydrogen you know you you get the benefits of i guess appealing to all the regulators telling you to a make your cars cleaner right and you could still have a high a decently high horsepower and uh, a good amount of torque engine um but it's clean and the charge time is just fueling up like you do any gas powered vehicle so you help answer the call you help clean the environment and you don't have to wait two days in order to get a fully charged heavy duty truck right and so this may this may happy happen with ram now another aspect to this um uh, is making sure ram with this new cummins b 6.78 right because they use the 6.7 diesel also but 6.7 hydrogen power plant they can go this route but they can also go another route where they use the same components for their van and i believe their van is powered by fuel cells instead of an internal combustion engine and i'm trying to understand this and learn this more too uh, and so if I'm saying things the wrong way, this is what I got this from my, this is what I comprehended from my studies of this uh, so far or my research. But, um, you know, putting it into an internal combustion engine is just a better trans transition than putting it and making it into like a fuel cell type of engine um, and things of that nature. And then on here. Um, Cummings said that if the U.S. were to convert its medium and heavy duty trucks to clean hydrogen, it would eliminate 25% of all greenhouse gases 
and emissions from the transportation sector. Another thing to consider is that they released NOx. And that's a pollutant that can contribute to the haze that you know you see above large cities. So there is a little bit of, I guess, uh, a steam that comes from it. Uh, oh well, they release something, um, and but it's not worse than carbon, I guess, and it's not worse than just diesel or gas-powered engines. Um, the other thing is that they were saying the horsepower does decrease using it, so it will be 290 horsepower, right? So a, a regular diesel, turbo diesel, can give you around 400 horsepower. So that is a difference, but it still gives you this large amount of torque, 886 pounds feet of torque, right? And so under this engine, you still get that that massive torque power that you need. Now, when I was reading this, I was just thinking, okay, yeah, cool, heavy duty, you know, vans, you can do that. But how about like a regular size, full size pickup truck like the Ram 1500? Could this be a possibility for them too? And yeah, they could do that. Yes, the horsepower would probably go down, but they could probably increase the torque in it. And, you know, torque is what really makes the car fun, honestly. I mean, horsepower is great, too. You need that. But torque is torque is fun, too. Um, and, and so, like, if it's, if it's a smaller truck, would they just go the fuel cell route or would they go the eternal combustion engine route with a 1500? I think people will like that more because, yes, you're essentially just trying to, you know, you want to appeal to the regulators telling you to make cleaner products. So let me know what you all think of this hydrogen powertrain by Cummins. You know, do you think this will be the new engine brought upon um, Ram in their heavy duty lineup? Uh, do you think it's going to change the industry for, for the good? So just looking right here, it says retain same cooling system as the diesel. Diesel-like performance integrates with diesel transmission and driveline. So very similar. All right, yeah, let me know down below what you all think. Uh, be sure to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll talk to you all later.